Fuck me. <laughs> Welcome back to the Sonic Forces playthrough on part three. And uh... yeah, Steven's not really looking happy for this because later on he's back in the controls of classic. <laughs> Quote unquote controls. <laughs> Here we go, off to Mystic Jungle. Now, for something special, folks. Yes, this particular stage, I'm going to prove this by beating this stage with one hand. This is truly wonderful, grandiose, triple-A game design when you can literally beat it with one fucking hand. And now you can see at the bottom right, he has been proven that I'm beating it with one hand. Video proof, so say. Can't play otherwise. This is... And, and during the recording of this, I actually put my left hand on my back and leaned it against the chair so that it was out of action. Yep. So there goes to show you that here's a game if you are unfortunate enough to lose a limb in the war, here's a game that you can play. <laughs> <laughs> Not if Infinite took your arm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, I'm not even holding the analog stick. Yeah. yeah. The only really tricky bit is this particular bit right here because there's a lot of dash panels, but you can't just simply hold down the square button and hope for the best. You have to hold back and then wait until the angle is right, then boost in, then so you can hit the dash panels. I'm curious just to how you discover that you can beat this one handed. That must have been quite a time. Yeah, I, I found it once on YouTube and I'm like, I wonder if I can do that. And <laughs> sure enough, enough I can. Cat. <laughs> Coffee cat. <laughs> I love how the soldier is literally just the, the avatar with different with clothing. Different clothing. <laughs> then there's a commander with like a mustache and everything. Mustachio. <laughs> And that's it, you're pretty much won from this point on, folks, because all you have to do for the cutie is just press the X button. It's because, surprise, giant snake. It's yawn. By the way, by the way, if you fill that one, you will die. Uh, but the rest, you don't have to. All you get in, if you pass all these is just like the upper path of the end stage, which it really is, isn't that much. Why is the timer still going? Because <laughs> that will really fuck you up when you're doing the speedrun missions. Oh, now it stops. Yeah, it's like time travel. Now it, look, yeah. the timer started again. No, Sonic, um... Because the game does not give a fuck. That isn't the worst, though, with, when it comes to the timer. And there you go. Beating the stage with one Be hand. Beating with one hand. <laughs> that Please tell there. me you get an S rank. Yep. Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what I'm reminded of with that thumbs Top up? Top tier Sega game design you know there, you know ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm reminded of with that thumbs up? Uh, Chris in Resident Evil 1 when he's on the computer. Oh, the yeah. <laughs> when he slaps the keyboard and he gives a fist pump and a thumbs up, and he's it, like, Yes, you knew the password. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the password from the start. I'm surprised because that was a computer like in 1995. They didn't, it, when you load up the computer, it doesn't start off with Windows 95. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Windows 98. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Not only did I beat the stage with one seconds. hand, I beat it within 100 seconds. And as a reward, here's a Nazi jacket, some spanky shoes, and did some. Did you say so Nazi jacket? Yeah. <laughs> Nazi jacket. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. And it's a demonetized. <laughs> and whatever that purple hat thing is there. Well, before you well, interrupted me with laughter, I was. Helmet. Well, before you interrupted, I would say what the split they gives you got was this looked like Splatoon gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This did come out in the Switch, actually. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Here we go. First fight with the mystery character, Infinite. <laughs> Who's voiced by Liam O'Brien, then? He, he does his best, but. The dialogue he's has to work with is terrible. Right. I mostly know Liam O'Brien as Gara of the Sand and Naruto, and I think he's in Persona 3 as well. Why the fuck does he have his own logo on his own shoes? <laughs> it's like, I'm going to destroy you all, but check out my sweet branded shoes. He's also See, just... You asked that of him, but not of Eggman, who yeah. literally has egg in every creation he makes. Yeah. Well, Silver, you did your best, but just like Sonic 06, yes. you didn't do good enough. Yes. yes, you are, and forever will be a secondary character, so it's your job to get your ass kicked by the villain. You will no, forever... he's a jobber. You will forever be Pothead the Porcupine. Yeah. <laughs> this is the only time we hear Infinite Zone theme. Which, I'll be honest, I didn't like it at first, but it's growing on me. Does he even have a real name? No. He himself, even with his backstory, he himself doesn't matter. He's, um, he's, he's almost, despite being a bit more, quote-unquote, more of a threat, he's on the same level as the Deadly Six. He's forgettable. Yeah. Well, according to Sega, the Deadly Six aren't, since they keep running back Zavok. You know what's pretty pathetic? Well, if he's going the source of my powers in your business, the camera clearly shows the ruby. 
It's like, oh, we need to realize this is this is story for kids, and they don't follow plot elements like this. We're tripping out. I'm tripping, boys. <laughs> Dude, this weed is so good. Yeah. And here's our first fight with Infinite. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, I had to put it in because it fits so well. No doubt I'm gonna get a claim. Sega but... did it, not us. Yeah. No doubt I'm gonna get a claim, but who cares? I'm. I don't care. Very, I'm having fun. Very well. I shall show you the absolute power of Gangnam Style. Hello, Lost World. How are you doing today? <laughs> now the problem with this fight is like, remember Unleashed in Generations where you can boost and jump at the same time? Here you can't. Can't do that here. And you have to, hit, and the problem is that his endpoint always ends in this bit. So even if you were to deplete all his health, the final hit will not, it, it, he will not be defeated until the last program oh, hit, uh, initiates. Right. From that, well, scripted final hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I love it when scripted events take control of, away from me, don't you? If you hit, if you hit my favorite the, part of all games. If you hit that cube, it causes him, you to trip out, and you have to avoid some obstacles that are not there. No, you get high. Seriously. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so you're saying infinite power is the power of shrooms. <laughs> I believe the shrooms! Oh, uh, what was it? Realistic Mario, like, uh, one of them eats a shroom or that, and then the other has to snap them out of their hallucination. Yeah. <laughs> so, you want to see somebody taking liberties in Mario? Have you seen Mario Warfare? Oh, God. <laughs> Yes, and all I can see is a pro Luigi and his balls. <laughs> I think there's a Luigi. I think there's a uh, spit of One Punch Man where it's called One Jump Man. I told you about that when we were recording this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a chance to see it yet. It's like look, look, they're trying to play off the fact that he's he may be a robot when he says your abilities exceed your previous data and like mm -hmm. and then he's like I oh, like Max is like why are you playing the idea that he's a robot? The only, we know thing, he's we're an missing, animal. The only yeah. thing missing is R two D two beeps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> by the way, he, by the way. Um, they never reveal his face in the game, but if you go on the Sonic Wiki and type up Infinite, you can literally just see his face right then and there. Because from the comics, they did show even in episode, Even in the prequel DLC, which is Episode Shadow, they still hide his face. I'm surprised you didn't actually add a picture of his face. <laughs> so you can, so we can see Well, it. again, he himself doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the useless wisp in the game, the hammer. All it does is it just stacks blocks, that's it. I thought the cube was the... That's the that is the cube. Oh. Alright. <laughs> It's blue, don't you know? <laughs> like me. <laughs> so what they're trying, literally trying to say is good because it shares the colour with Sonic. <laughs> well, Infinite, I have to say, your remix of Gangnam Style was utter shite. <laughs> yes. That was my absolute power. Next time you shall see my absolute defense. What? Infinite goes up, we shall settle this matter through the medium of dance. <laughs> 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 oh god, don't give Sega ideas, isn't it? It's Sonic dance off. Oh god, no. I mean, there was Star Wars. There was a Star Wars connecting game when you had to dance off with the Emperor of all people. Oh, for God's sake! What are you talking about that? What are you talking about that? That gave us the Rancor mini game where you could flail around like a fool and destroy everything. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> light blue. We can only know what that means. Yep. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> really, we couldn't tell. <laughs> you think this is bad? What if we have? What? What if he ever tries Sonic or Six? I put no. That's better <laughs> than classic no, Sonic. If, no, trust me. If you play that, I will pray for you. <laughs> no, I have played Sonic or Six, right. and that, I I think that's oh. fu more fun than classic Sonic in this game. Even with all its glitches? Don't, I can actually laugh at Sonic 06. By the way, real original name for a stage Sega. Green Hill, Green Hill. Yeah. Really? Fuck this oh, that's music. That's why Sega this, just sailed themselves, just this, gave up. This music is... <sighs> this music is ear rape. The fuck is this pish? I've heard a fan remix and it sounds much better than this. What, they, they try and go for a Genesis like Max with all the classic Sonic stages, but they fail miserably. It's if they awful. wanted classic Sonic, they should have hired T-Loops. Uh, again, the momentum is, of course, a lot of fucking spikes. The momentum's all Record over the spikes. place. Like, uh, we'll get to it later in Chemical Plant, but you can't build up momentum just by rolling down hills anymore. No. It's like Sonic 4 Episode 1. Absolutely. That's not how physics work. <laughs> it's like Episode 1 of Sonic 4. In order to build up momentum, you just have to run. You're like a fucking Spider-Man. That's not how the force works. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right here. Normally, uh, you'd go much, much higher if that was actual physics. Nope. That's prescripted. 
<clears throat> it's like even if you went slow, it just zooms you by. Even if you spend dash that, you have the same amount of speed. <laughs> it's like oh. Sega. It's like Sonic Team doesn't know how to do a classic Sonic Team By the way, I'm lightly tapping on the right D-pad there when I go to jump on yeah. those springs because yeah, you, know, you see desert over there. So do we. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the people in the Death Egg can see the desert. <laughs> That was some backstories, like when Eggman took over the world. He apparently changed, he used the Phantom Ruby to change water to sand. Okay. Good. Let's hope Anakin's not here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I was losing momentum there as I came out from Look that. Look at that. That is prophetic, even with the speed shoes. Oh, by the way, if you don't spin dash or drop dash there, you probably will fall into the pack. You don't even need to do that, you just need to hold right and win. <laughs> no, that's not the worst. So you're saying Elliot would die here? Yeah, probably. Oh, from SG, <laughs> S from SGB. Yeah. Let's hope, if we ever get to Mario Bros, let's hope we don't do that. <laughs> no. You only had to hold right! <laughs> no, that was Barry World. Yep. No, that's, well, that's the, best, the, the best story. Preparing. No, the best story about that is that when it was, um, Johnny shared a story where his mother went ahead and tried the game, and she made past that pit on her first try. <laughs> and Elliot did a redemption live stream as well. Oh, wasn't Mario wasn't one. there a stage in Mario Maker called Elliot's Worst Nightmare? It's just a pet it's over and over and over It's literally over just World yeah. 1 1. Recopied and wear a Luigi costume at the start. Yeah! <laughs> at last! <laughs> Luigi's time to shine. Yes. <laughs> Before I go get drunk in the bar again. Aye, because of the shit you had to go through. Oh, you're only well, boss in the game, Stevie. <laughs> uh, playing Classic Sonic would make anyone want to drink themselves to death. Yes, we're not kidding, folks. Of all the bosses in this game, Classic Sonic only gets one, not counting the final boss. Wait, how the fuck did the Phantom Root be prototype? Uh, yeah, prototype I prototype made it! Well, to go into backstory here, what happened was the in the prequel comics, that remember that Phantom Ruby that went with you in Mania? Eggman was found in the middle of nowhere. He picked it up and it gave him a vision of what he looked like, what Eggman land would look like if he conquered the world. But so Sunshine he, and Rainbows. <laughs> aye. So he kept that Phantom Ruby for himself and made prototypes so that he could still cause robots all over the place. And the prototype is one of them is on Infinite. So he doesn't have the aura, of course, because of the Eggman. Of, it's Eggman. He keeps the real power for himself. Yeah, I just, I just remember the, they don't the explain. proper final boss to mm -hmm. us. They either don't explain things very well with the Phantom Ruby, or they just don't fucking bother. Because, like, like I said, the Phantom Ruby does whatever the fuck it wants. Yeah. They sex Ruby. <laughs> they say it's, and they later on they say that it's like the Phantom Ruby's prototypes can only be activated by the person who has the most imagination. So, <coughs> excuse me. What is the deal with the hard-boiled heavies? <laughs> and we and it's pretty much easy, obvious at this point. But remember those um, Shadow, Metal Sonic, Chaos, and all we saw at the beginning—they're all Phantom Ruby cl clones. Yeah. Spoilers, God. <laughs> oh, who cares? Again, the game's mediocre. I don't think spoilers count at this point, Sean. It's several. Uh, when does it come out? Being sarcastic. 2017. Yeah. Uh. Oh god, what is this music? It's, it's very hor clownish. It's horrible, that's what it is. And even then, they had to make a force callback to Sonic 1. Yep, force, I said it. Yeah, that's yeah. a little speedrunning <laughs> trick <laughs> you can do. <laughs> that's a little speedrunning trick you can do there, where if you get hit at the start and fall oh, down god, like that. Oh god, this thing again? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Why is it? Did he just have this thing, like, sitting behind a, yeah. like, a bush or something? And how the fuck would Sonic not see it? <laughs> May I also point out that that, that dialogue, line of dialogue, Eggman was not moving his lips. Ah. It's because this game has shown such top tier game design up until this point. By the way, this boss is a precursor to what you'll do in the final boss. For so classic Sonic. So, yeah. something that the Werehog had to actually physically destroy with brute strength... <laughs> ...can now literally be destroyed with trash bags. Yes. I'm surprised this is not... The egg, the egg Dragon Mark Three, or Prototype Three, because it was the Prototype Two in Generations. Yeah, the, the speedrun mission for this one, you have to beat it in under a minute. Which means <laughs> you have to actually fucking get the, a perfect, pretty much roll on that. You have to like spin dash into that one, then into that one while he's going to the right. But yeah, you have to wait till he's right in line with the rock, otherwise it'll mess like it, that. You have to be perfect. To get the speedrun mission. The speedrun missions you need to beat for all the trophies. Which I did, by the way. <laughs> so because I've done like, everything in this game. Because you like to suffer. Yeah. <laughs> suffer for all eternity. Oh, my favourite was Godzilla on PS4. 
Oh, didn't you go out your way to plant them that? Right, you're... Andrew's reaction when he saw was point. I would say you're a fool, but then again, I went out of my way to get all the gold medals in Sonic 06, which gives you fuck all. <laughs> What's that random explosion? <laughs> All of our glass songs just standing there like, mm, yes. just can't be arsed. He's like, what the fuck did I just saw? I don't remember seeing this in my life. Alright. Alright, cause you actually come from a good universe. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, I forget, you're the half-assed clone. <laughs> cause the real one died on his way here. Apparently there was a theory that the... So you've seen the half-assed clone is the one that returns in the... No, the... No, I know exactly what you're about to say, the theory that this Sonic this is actually a Phantom Ruby illusion. It was a Phantom Ruby illusion, yeah. I would just feel that that was the case. <laughs> nah, who yeah, cares? <laughs> might explain a fair bit. It would literally be the only reason he's here. Look at them fancy gloves. Yeah. What are they, boxes go? Oh, is Mega Drive boots. Is he trying to be Dante with those gloves? By the way, folks, yes, for avatars, you could put female clothing on a male body. You could do that in Saints Row 2 as well, man. Right. <laughs> but, a uh, Sonic character? Really? Hmm. We, you did fuck all. <laughs> yes. No, what's that? What's that? That Sailor Moon uh, meme where uh, all in a day's work, you didn't do anything, and the guy with exactly. a cape, his tails. In just three short days. I'll conquer the world. Think you can stop me? <laughs> yes, that's a callback to heroes. Yeah. Yeah, we've got Mike Pollock, <laughs> I like how his eggmobile has got a lot <laughs> more starter in for an engine. <laughs> is it just me or what? Or does that say egg on it? Yes, it does. Oh. It says how egg. fast am I going? Egg. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's that, no, no, no. That's his version of Alexa, except it's egg. Tell me the latest news. <laughs> Activate emergency self destruct, and both answers are egg. So he doesn't know which one's yes or no. Yeah. <sighs> that's Sonic t shirt, man. <laughs> <laughs> We wear well, that for the whole game, by the way. Well, he yes, is, well, indeed we do. Well, he is a conspiracy theorist after all. Yep. And as I said, he became so after Infinite Attack, his terror in Sonic was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> we should put some fashion music in here. <laughs> yeah. No, he was told to find Sonic instead of Sonic. <laughs> but he couldn't find Sonic, so he has to make No, 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 no. I think we established that he knows about the, the Sonic and all of its theories, and he's <laughs> trying to spread out the word to say, Beware the Sonic! <laughs> So I can just, uh, can just imagine going door to door. How about to, have you heard of our true lord and savior, Sanic? <laughs> Please sign this petition to make sure he exists. Yeah. And we'll go to the mayor's office to prove it. But yeah. he, he does exist. There's a shirt there with him on it. <laughs> no, no, even yes. better. He goes to the doors while wearing the Sanic shirt. So he has, and people keep pointing out to him, and he. He, he just doesn't notice it. No, do you think that Limo here would go out of his way to tattoo the Sonic, the Sonic on his chest and say, oh. I love you forever? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what really What the fuck? <laughs> like some sort of knockoff gangster. Again, Sean's goal was to make the most fucked up thing imaginable. <laughs> God, I would hate to see what you'd create in Central to it. <laughs> oh, I was worried here. They, they mentioned Seaside Hill. I was like, oh, God, not another returning <laughs> stage. <laughs> Hello, soldier. Yeah. Don't you mean Avatar? We just yeah. different clothing. <laughs> Hello, stock Avatar. <laughs> yeah, rookie. This comes from the guy who can't fucking protect the Master Emerald. Yeah. yeah. Or the yeah. entire Resistance has done little to no progression in what nine months. Right on to Park yes. Avenue, which of all the the Avatar themes, this one's not that bad. Yeah. I think this was the one they should have showed off when the when the game was being developed. Yeah, or it's certainly the. You know what's escape. hilarious? You know what's hilarious about the dialogue? No one, none of the characters are actually in this stage. It's literally just voice files that are playing. <laughs> <laughs> so that, and remember what Knuckles said, folks? He said, "We're gonna rescue some surveillance." By guess that, what you don't do? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> that happens in the background. <laughs> no, I can imagine him saying that. We're playing House of the Dead 2 and you just let all the civilians die. <laughs> what is with the point of these purple dodos or whatever they're I'll called? I'll tell you exactly why they're there. Extra points to make little kids feel good. All they do is run away from you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're literally just there for extra points. <laughs> One thing I have to criticise with the Lightning West is like, like right here, I don't like how it zips you flying. Or when you're holding the analog stick. Um. This thing works almost exactly like one of the weapons in Ratchet and Clank. <coughs> only 
the the the, oh, the, the whip you get in Ratchet and Clank doesn't send you anywhere near as far, and it's much better than that. Aye. That's another franchise I really like, Ratchet and Clank. Aye. Well, if you want to top that up, Vector, you can go in and grab a Wispin yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Easy to criticize when you're back in base, yeah. Now, you what saw game? the green, uh, the Wisp up there, but it was uh, locked out, essentially. Because we, Sean hasn't unlocked that particular Wispin yet. Yeah. With the green one, which essentially lets you hover, but it's also like a shotgun. Yeah. Because they're expecting you to replay this. <laughs> over and over and over. I do mean over and over. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the first tag team stage, you'll be playing that a lot if you're grinding <laughs> for the plat. Uh, don't worry, if you, even if you miss that, there's another opportunity to mm. take the upper path as you jump over here, right. and you're fine. <laughs> Whee! Is your head not spinning yet? No. Well, yes, but well, I'm that's no just upside, from this game. Well, I'm no <laughs> upside down, so... What? What HQ? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, also it's just like, a room in a basement. Yeah. Well, it's like, uh, update from HQ, aren't you fucking there? <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck are you? You're supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. Windows needs to update now. <laughs> <laughs> so he can't use the... No, that's what Tails was fixing Omega for, to program the next update for the operating system. Upgrade from Windows 95 to Vista. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's upgrading Omega to use alchemy. Because, by the way, Vic Mignogna is the voice of Omega in this game. Edward Elric from Film Metal Alchemist. Mm -hmm. He's also Tamaki in Oran High School Horse Club. Those golden boots. I wonder if they're a callback to Excalibur Sonic from Black Knight. Yeah. Which, is, which is essentially Sonic with golden armor. Yeah. And with that, we'll see you guys in the next part.